here we have the 8CX, which is Qualcomm's third generation uh, chipset going to, into compute platforms. Um, we released uh, our first platforms 835, and then we had the second generation was the 850. These were platforms that leveraged a lot of our mobile technologies, and we leveraged them for compute. The 8CX is our third generation built from the ground up for computing. So this chipset you will not find in mobile phones. It is a much uh, a higher performance CPU, much higher performance GPU, adding PCIe support, USB support, EDP support, higher memory bandwidth, sort of the more of the things that you will find in a traditional computing platform um, built on the Snapdragon design. Um, and as you can see here, if you look at the uh, at the reference design for the 8CX, um, you will see multiple USB ports driving multiple 4K uh, displays, um, PCIe built in, connect NVMe uh, storage, or even external 5G modems. Um, so much more of a, of a PC-centric chipset than what we've had in the past. And uh, to show you the uh, Snapdragon 8CX running on this platform, um, running Windows 10 in this case, got 8 gigs of RAM. And then also you will see some applications running here, Photoshop, running, you know, very uh, extreme multitasking environments with Photoshop running, browser, the new uh, Edge browser based on Chromium, um, 4K videos, Excel, and PowerPoint, and all of these tasks are running, running simultaneously on the 8CX platform. So here, here you will see the um, first real 5G uh, PCs. Um, this is a uh, reference design with 5G uh, sub-6 and millimeter wave that we've uh, designed with Compal. And here you will see a Lenovo device um, also with both the, with the STX55 and the 8CX, also running 5G. And as you can see from the icon here, it's connected to a 5G uh, network running here at Computex. Um, we expect to see the 8CX platforms available before the end of this year, and then 8CX with 5G with the STX55 um, available in early 2020 from partners like Lenovo and others to come as well.